more legs. Two more legs. And then she's gonna say, peace out, get out. As you can tell, I'm in my uniform, so that means we're going to work. Yes, meanwhile, I've already worked a full day. I had to be at the airport once again at 5 a.m. So I think it's about 10 p.m. right now, but really it's only 3 p.m. So my check-in's at 3.35 is my check-in for my trip. Our first flight, we're going to Nolens and then Nolens to Phoenix and Phoenix to Seattle. So a 10 and a half hour day on the plane. Yeah. And we're showing a 36 minute delay. So yeah, it's gonna be 11 hours on the plane today. <laughs> so on a good old 700, I'm flying with a friend, Kat. She'll be in the back with me. I'm the B flight attendant. And so we have the three flights today. We overnight in Seattle tonight. And then we have a 12 and a half hour overnight. And then we do two legs to Kansas City, Missouri. And we're doing it via Seattle to Chicago Midway. Chicago Midway to Kansas City, Missouri. Overnight, and then we have 14 and a half hour overnight. Then on Sunday, we're gonna do Kansas City, Missouri to San Diego, and then San Diego to San Jose, California, and then San Jose, California to Austin. And we're back home at 10.50 on Sunday night. So it's a productive trip. It pays 25 hours, and so yeah, it's gonna be long days on the plane today. Like I said, it's 11 hours. Tomorrow is nine and a half hours, and then I think it's nine and a half on Sunday as well. Yeah. So Travis was gone for three days last week. I'm going to be gone for, well, three days, but technically two and a half. Yeah. So. But Sunday, I will not be picking up Ryan from the airport because he gets in at like 10 o'clock at night, but I have to report to the airport at 4.30 in the morning on Monday, so... He'll He's be getting catching up at, an Uber. He'll be getting up at 3 a.m. So either I'll ask my friend Kat to take oh, yeah, me she home, can probably or take if you. not, then um, I'll get an Uber and Uber home because we don't we don't land until 10:50 if we're on time, and then by the time I get out to an Uber, I mean, or even out to the curb, it'd be after 11. Yeah. So he needs to get his beauty rest, and then he'll be done with his day. By the time I'm getting up in the morning. Yeah. So, uh, it just so happens with his training schedule and with me having PM trips that we're going to be off schedule for a few weeks and then yeah. we'll get on schedule and whether I have to either do AM flights or do... PM flights, I'll just try to match his schedule going forward when we bid for November. Because when you bid on the ground, you bid for the whole month. So I would know what I'm getting when he bids. But because I'm in a training schedule right now, I'm only going week to week. So like he was saying, well, I have an AM trip at the beginning of October. Should I just go ahead and keep it? And I was like, well, I mean, you can, but I may be working, you know, till midnight that week. I don't, I just don't know yet. Um, so until I'm out of training, it may be kind of hit or miss week by week. So we'll have to just play it by ear. Well, and like that, that AM today anyways, it, it pays like, I think it was 15 and a half hours. Oh, well, that's a good two day. So, but it just checks in at 425 in the morning, I think. So it's just an early AM. But if he's going in at 4.30 anyways, it would match up. Yeah. But we don't know two weeks know. down the road. So there's an accident in front of us. And there's a lot of cars stopped. I so. know. I think I made a weird face a second ago because this 18-wheeler was getting a little close. Yeah. And there's a retaining wall on the other side of him. <laughs> so he, there's only one direction he could actually go. <laughs> and that would have been into us. Yeah. It always backs up right here, and it's Friday, Ooh, so... Ooh, look at that car. Yeah, it's smashed front end. I hope they're okay. 
I did too, but that, he's just in the middle of the road. How did that even happen? Where's the other car? <laughs> There's only one car. Oh, and they got their backpack out. I hope the driver's okay. Drive safe, you guys. It's Friday, and there's a lot of traffic piled up coming from Houston, and they're also dealing with the floods and stuff, so I wonder if... I mean, it's backed up. So what do I do? Go the back way. I guess Which so. I had to do. I took him to work on Thursday, and I had to do, do the back way, and it's not convenient. It adds, like, eight miles, right? It or does. Miles. So I'm like, okay, well... Is it more conducive time-wise to just sit in this traffic or go the back way and at least I'm moving, but is it going to be the same amount of time? I don't know. I haven't worked a three-day trip in probably a year. I do a lot of turns or two-day trips, so which you have come along for. So this is the first three-day trip that we have actually recorded on that I've actually yeah. done since we uh, started doing our vlogging. And we know, I mean, he's taken you guys to Seattle already, but this will be the first time to Kansas City. I don't really know what there is in Kansas City, but I guess we're all going to find out. a pond, and a hotel we stay at, right on the pond. That's, it's all within, I think, a mile, mile and a half of the airport, mm -hmm. so, which is really cool to spot planes, because you can go out by the pond and watch the planes land. I have only overnighted in uh, Kansas City, Missouri during the winter time so it's not really been enjoyable to go out by the pond it's been like five degrees um so it'll be really cool to see it during you know the end of summer it's gonna be fall next week yes so, well i don't feel like it here and i want to try to get like a a manchester or a boston overnight mm. because the changing of the fall you yeah. know the leaves and stuff it'd be beautiful so i'm gonna keep a lookout for that and i also want to do a new york trip but i think we're actually going to plan a personal new york trip in november so yeah, just stay tuned <laughs> my two days well once i'm off of training my two days will probably butt up in the middle of the week so our plan is just to kind of do a quick new york overnight just because it's been a, a year now since we've been to New York. So we're getting the itch to go and just have a change of scenery, have a change of weather because it is mid-September and it is 101 degrees outside right now and I'm over it. But we're actually pulling up to the airport and I just noticed there's not that many people here. It's not which bad. Which is crazy for a Friday. Yeah, well this morning was a different story. <laughs> they all left yeah. this morning. <laughs> All right, well, the next time you see me, you'll see me on the plane, and I'm going to say goodbye to Travis All right. for three days. <laughs> we'll see you guys inside. Joe's coffee shop was closed today, so I'm cheating, and I got a Juice Land smoothie. Y'all, it's been crazy. So we're, our plane just got in from Dallas and it was an hour and 20 minutes delayed. So I'm doing my security checks and making sure my galley is ready to go for this quick flight up to Nolens. Um, so we're about an hour and a half delayed. It was an hour, 20 minutes delayed getting into Austin. So yeah, my duty day is gonna be 11 and a half hours as of right now. So I'm gonna miss time and a half by what, an hour? But we shall see. So we'll keep you posted how the day goes. But yeah, we're starting off an hour and 20 minutes delayed. So we'll talk to you once we get to Nolens. One quick flight. I am on my way to Starbucks here. Um, in the lobby of our hotel, crew hotel and I'm gonna get some Starbucks get some caffeine in me and then I'm gonna come back here and explain our 
what ended up being our day yesterday. So let's go get some Starbucks and then I'll come back and let you know what happened. Since I didn't do my room tour yesterday, I'm going to do it now since we were delayed and I'll explain that in a second. Alrighty, so I have my Starbucks. Yesterday, we started off an hour and 20 minutes delayed. And we had a 10 and a half hour duty day yesterday. So from the time we checked in till the time we stepped off the plane and had our debrief, we had a 10 and a half hour day, and then you add the hour and 20 minute delay on top of that. And so we did a 12 hour and like 25 minute duty day yesterday. So yes, if you do the math, we missed double time by a few minutes. However, our overnight was originally like 13 hours and some change so it dropped down um, around 11 hours so yesterday since we were delayed our first flight was kind of quick there was some turbulence um, there was some weather around Houston and in between Austin and Nolens so we were full and we had a lot of passengers asking questions so i really didn't get to film on the plane yesterday and i know it's not an excuse and i'm sorry i didn't get any footage um i do have a good crew i love my uh co-workers i'm flying with and our passengers were actually really good yesterday considering that we were delayed an hour and 20 minutes we did make up some time on our way to Nolens and then um, our way from Nolens to Phoenix. We were going around storms, so we took our whole flight time. It was like three hours and 40 minutes to go from Nolens to Phoenix. And then we had our flight Phoenix to Seattle and we had to change planes. And those passengers were waiting for us and they were queued up in their, their boarding position and our plane was already there so it's kind of nerve-wracking walking to the plane because you don't know if they're going to be upset because you were late or if they're going to be understanding and all the passengers were just great so I couldn't ask for um, a better day yesterday for being delayed and yeah, it was really good. Well, when we got to our hotel here in Seattle, it was already 4 a.m. our time in Austin, Central Time. So I literally walked in the door. I ironed my uniform for today. I set out all my stuff in the bathroom and I got myself ready for bed. I got about seven hours of sleep and then I checked in with you once I got up and I went downstairs, got my Starbucks, and now I'm recapping our day yesterday. And today I will do a better job of getting footage and hopefully I can get some with my uh, crew members so you can see who I'm flying with. Um, our lead, our A flight attendant, she's been flying for 25 years 
and our C flat attendant that's working in the back with me and she stands on the overwing dare boarding she is actually um, been with the company I think four or five years now so they are both outgoing and it's made for a really good trip even though the situation could have been really crummy if you're it's all about who you're flying with so you know we've said it before in our videos is just be flexible and that's one thing I'm trying to remember is just be flexible I go out and I play flat attendant you know three days a week and anything can happen in those three days and just kind of expect the unexpected so if you're a big brother fan I kind of like to say that all the time so yeah it's a good trip and I'm looking forward to our easy day today we're doing Seattle to Chicago it's a four-hour flight and we're full and we're gonna be on an 800 so we're actually gonna add a fourth flight attendant who's going to be sitting in the back with me on the jump seat and working out of the back and then we're gonna do uh, Chicago midway to Kansas City Missouri and that flight's like an hour 25 and we're not full on that one but we'll be on the 800 as well and then we have a 14 and a half hour overnight in Kansas City and we stay at a hotel that's close to the airport and there's a pond and so we'll get some footage of that tomorrow we'll go out and take a walk once we get our coffee in the morning we're gonna have our easy day today and I'm not gonna jinx it there isn't gonna be any delays and the passenger is gonna be awesome and we are going to get through this day, day even though we might be a little bit delirious or a little bit um, sore from our day yesterday because my feet are barking and my back is hurting but the passengers won't know and they won't have any clue that we had a bad day yesterday I will put my flat attendant look on and I will fake it till I make it and give that really good positive uh, outrageous service to today and tomorrow and yeah get through this trip so we lobby in 55 minutes so I will check in with you after I get ready we'll Alrighty, I am ready for my day and we're heading out. I'm actually running late. I only have about five minutes to make it down to lobby and this hotel is really messed up with their numbering and I'm in all the way in the back of the hotel. So I'm actually going to run to the van for our lobby time. Like I said, I have to be down in five minutes. I've already checked my room. I got everything ready and I am literally going to be running down to the van. <laughs> I didn't give myself enough time to get ready. We'll see you on the plane. Y'all, the first leg is done. We have one more to uh, Kansas City from Chicago. And we're going to be done with our easy day. We were a little bit early getting into Chicago. It is raining outside. And we are getting provisioned in the back right now. 
we're gonna board up. We're not quite full, but pretty close to it. After we board up, then we will get on our way to good old Kansas City, Missouri. And we have a 14 and a half hour overnight, uh, enough to get some good sleep, seeing that I didn't get good sleep last night. I got about, I don't know, somewhere in between, I think six and seven hours. I think I said seven hours earlier, but I don't think that was correct. Anyways, uh, the life of a flight attendant when you have a long duty day and a shorter overnight and this trip pays really well. It pays 26 trips for a three day, which is really high. So I am obviously gonna be working for it. So today's our short day, tomorrow's our long day. Tomorrow we do Kansas City, Missouri to San Diego, to San Jose, back home to Austin. So I will check in with you guys when we're done and we're getting off the plane in Kansas City. Alrighty guys, I just got to my hotel room in Kansas City, MCI. I'm gonna give you a room tour really quick. Today was a really good day on the plane, y'all. We had the two flights. The first one was four hours from Seattle to Chicago Midway. And we had 160 passengers and it was a good flight. Um, passengers were good. No complaints. Um, did snacks and did two services and did water and coffee and all that good stuff. And we got to Midway and we boarded up and had about 156 passengers. And our 800 holds 175 passengers. So both flights reflect mid-September and they weren't full so that was good it was bumpy there was it was raining in chicago before we left and then there was storms in between chicago and missouri so we actually didn't serve on this last flight it was quite bumpy in the back of the aircraft so i'm glad we didn't try to risk uh getting up and dealing with uh the turbulence and i know that was kind of bumming out because I'm exhausted and sitting on the jump seat for an hour and five minutes was not fun and my back is a little sore from yesterday having a long day but overall it was a good day um, my D flight attendant was awesome me and D from LAX so if you're watching I enjoyed flying with you I'm gonna go down and get some chicken wings keto friendly and maybe like a side salad for dinner, I've just been eating uh, lunch meat, cheese, and snacking on uh, rotisserie chicken that I had kind of in my food bag thrown together. Um, I also have a keto yogurt that is like three uh, nut carbs, and I'll uh, eat that for a dessert later. So yeah, I plan on getting some rest. We lobby tomorrow at... 12 20 we leave the hotel and we're just down the street and it's 11 06 p.m now so i'm gonna go down and get my chicken wings and side salad i'm not sure if i'm actually going to eat at the bar or, or the restaurant or if i'm gonna come back to my room and eat it in my room it just depends if my crew members are going to show up or not 
I know my A said that she wasn't feeling good, so if she doesn't come down, I'm not sure if my C is going to come down, and I know the D is not coming down, so I might just get it to go and bring it back to the room. I want to iron my clothes for tomorrow and then get into bed and get some solid eight hours plus of sleep. I need it. And tomorrow's a long day. We have another 10 hour and 10 hours and 15 minute duty day, I believe. We're going to do Kansas City, uh, Missouri, MCI to San Diego, SAN, and then San Diego to San Jose, SJC. California and then we're gonna do San Jose finally to Austin on that note I am really enjoying this modern room they actually redid them since the last time I've been here the last time I was in Kansas City was probably gosh two years ago so yeah it looks really nice I think I will actually enjoy my room tonight I am shouldn't lay too much longer on this bed cuz I might not actually get up. I'm gonna get ready and go get me some food. Please place your large carry-on items and those overhead bins, smaller carry-on items underneath that seat in front of you so we can accommodate all bags in the cabin. We don't have to check bags here in San Diego. We are headed up to San Jose today. Full flight, open seating. Large items up in those overhead bins, smaller items underneath that seat in front of you so we can accommodate all bags in the cabin. It's going to be a full flight. A lot of roller bags are going to be coming on board. Good afternoon and welcome aboard.
Well, and I, think, battles. I think that's also true just working with the public in general because you're, you're exposed to so many um, illnesses or germs. And yes, stuff like so that. don't so touch I your think face. That you Keep your hands off your face. Uh, I, um, my uh, peppermint hand sanitizer and spread that. Oh you know, my God, just I love that. Keep everything sanitized. Uh, take a good multivitamin. Take good. Uh, make sure you take vitamin C. Yeah, um, yeah that's that's all good. Water, advice. water, water. Uh, can of water every hour. So they say. And Kat, it has been wonderful flying with you. Uh, I've enjoyed this three day. We have worked hard, but we have. It, it, help the days go by quick because you're such a phenomenal flight oh and, my God. and our company is lucky to have you so like a track flight that's Aww. the beauty behind it you get back when you put the bucket Aww. i love it Alrighty, i will see y'all on the ground in san diego i'm signing off for now i'm going to clean up the galleys get my kids ready to be changed out by provisioning so i will check in with y'all when we get on the ground bye, bye. Let's go home. Lastly, San Jose to Austin. And the Regent Hunter Kitchen, we'd like to point out the safety features to properly fasten your seatbelt. Slide the flat in and to the buckle to unfasten. Let the buckle buckle release your seatbelt to be worn tight while cross your lap. There are six emergency exits, two forward doors, two open the wing window exits, and two aft doors. Each door is marked with signs overhead and light from the floor of the aisle designated exits. There's a safety information card located in the seat back pocket in front of you. Take a look at it in the event of a water evacuation. You're going to use the life vest that is under your seat. Remove the vest only if told to do so. Remove the pouch from the container or open the pouch. Remove the vest, place the vest over your head. Wrap the black strap around your waist and bundle it, and the front pulls tight. Once outside the aircraft, to inflate, pull down the red tab of your waist to manually inflate blow into the tube at your shoulder. The flight attendants will walk into the cabin and make sure your seatbelts are securely fastened. Seat bags, tray tables are in a full or bright lot positions. Carry-on bags are properly stowed under the seat in front of you or in one of the overhead bins. This flight is a non-smoking flight. Smoking is never allowed in the aircraft lavatories. For the law prohibits tamper with or disabling smoke detectors in the aircraft lavatories. Publication regulations require passenger compliance. Provide the passenger information, signs, posted by guards, and crew member instructions. Also, no making. Although we do not anticipate a change in cabin pressure should it occur, foil the masks will drop from overhead, pull down on the mask until the plastic tubing is fully extended. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. Secure the mask with the elastic strap. The bag may not inflate. You are receiving oxygen. If you're traveling with children, secure yourself first. Then assist the child. Continue wearing the mask until otherwise notified by a uniform crew member. Finally, sit back, relax, enjoy your flight to Austin. yesterday travis had to go to bed at 7 p.m so i asked cat to bring me home instead of getting an uber so i didn't end the vlog and i didn't do a lot of recording on our last leg which was san jose to austin and i needed to come on and end the vlog so that's what i'm doing now hence why i'm in our house and not in a car like we normally end the vlogs while you're here don't forget to subscribe if you are a subscriber welcome back and if you're new welcome to our page hit that bell and get the notifications when we put out new videos and hit that thumbs up we'll see you on the next vlog